All right, everybody. This is Sergeant Soldier. To all my new subscribers, welcome. And this is uh, today's ver uh, edition of Incoming. And today we got something nice and big. And I turned it upside down with the main picture because there's not as much glare on it. But it's the uh, military life set from the World Peacekeepers. So it's a wall locker, towel, PT uniform, hangers, shaving kit, sh you know, shower shoes, M4 rifle, uniform. But in this set, it's got a uh, uh, it's got a uh, woodland camo. And it's got like a personal day pack, weight set, helmet, and here's a big bonus. There's a guitar that's a full size like a J45 Gibson uh, dreadnought size. And the star of the show being the bunk beds. It's got a whoopee. Took me a minute to figure out what the heck that thing was inside the packaging because it's got a uh, window box in front, a pillow, and, oh, the towel set. I think I said that already, but it's easier to say. Let's go ahead and turn it over. And look at it, and I will be doing a uh, setup because you know if you can get a diagram, look at that thing. Oh, a guitar right there, like that lump right there that's inside there. That's the whoopee. I couldn't believe it. I can't. I can't wait to open that up, set all this up. Got a wall locker. I'll let you know if there's anything secret inside of there, but I doubt it. Well, you see, he's wearing woodland camo. Anyway, that's. Um, well, that's the that's the start of incoming and we've got a whole lot more i'll be right back all right we're back to incoming and we've got our uh stomp and chomp because i've been collecting um parts to make a will and holly go back to find their father in the land of the lost and find a different world than what they remembered um, and the first edition is I'm going to make what they remember as sleeve stack as Creatures in Black Lagoon. And this is the 14 inch version from Mego, which is just <laughs> nuts huge. And it's actually got a, a you know, a bodysuit on, which I think is neat. And that could be, and it's for, this thing is a, about an inch taller than most Joes, and anyway, I'm, I've got two more of these coming, and I'm going to turn them into slee stack, but just not quite like they were, or like they've evolved like an alligator wouldn't, but that they continue to grow, so they're even taller. But what also came in was uh, from China. I got Holly's checkered shirt. And, you know, that she was iconic for a brown belt. And I've got a pair of brown pants that are coming. So I'm going to have an extra pair of uh, blue jeans for a female that I might be able to trade away for someone who needs to dress one of their women. And uh, I'm, I'm going to kind of keep a lot of that secret on the way. Okay, next up, let me see. Uh, Y'all remember the other day, uh, the Ranger. Well, this came in the mail. And it's a black cowboy hat, and now he is the Texas Ranger. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Okay, next up, um, I also got a brown hat, which is for my mini-me, for when I'm feeling a little more, you know, wanting to lean in more with my accent and be more of a Texan from East Texas and you know, a dog don't hunt and all that stuff. I want to be able to have that. So I've got that for my, uh, my mini me. Uh, this is a Cubs hat and I, it, it fits a, uh, a really old, um, vintage, uh, painted head pretty good. So that's going to go for, you know, one of my painted head figures to sport. Here's, here's something that came. Uh, that's going to help with my vocals. And I got, I bought a 1-6 scale 
microphone and stand. And it slips in there like that. And now I got a microphone that's going to be part of my little, when I play some music, I'm going to have a setup for singing and playing and all that. So that's neat. I like the presentation box it comes in. I got that off of uh, e oh, not eBay, Amazon. And just type in one six scale instruments. Boy, they'll look pop up. Um, next up is my entry, not necessarily into the six inch range, but I subscribe to Analog Toys. And I finally pulled the trigger to get a Desert Rat, who is... You know, he's the avatar for Tony over at Analog Toys. And he just hit 50,000 subscribers and had a big giveaway last night. But I had ordered this at the early part of the month because I have already gotten... I uh, was showing my dad that I was looking at Jeeps and stuff. He handed me a an RC car. So I'm going to have Desert Rat driving around with Mayfield or Bill Burr. And I want to have a special video about this thing driving around and driving past. And you're going to hear Bill Burr telling his jokes with Tony from Desert, you know, the Desert Rat from the Action Force at, at the Valiverse. And uh, check out the Valiverse um, uh, 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 podcast they put out. It's pretty good. They go over their kind of their industry and, you know, they do a pretty good show for the Action Force, I think. And, uh, but yeah, Tony just gave you know, one of these away with like a sign comic and all this other stuff, but I got him in and he's going to get to drive around with Bill Burr. That should be interesting. I, I can't wait to make that video of that thing moving on its own. Okay. Next up is I have been building, you know, oh yeah, the, the old guy, but I loved adding this, the side cap, the officer side cap. And, um, I have all of the main uniforms except for the african-american adventurers tan uniform but that can double as a uh, steve austin six million dollar man uniform you know but i've got him complete smoking a cigar sunglasses on trying to look up at his one of his buddies doc skydiving or something but i went ahead and got a one-to-one -one side cap with captain's bars off of ebay so that's why he's here I got that. So now I'm complete on my one-to-one -one uniform so that I can appear on camera if I want to or something like that. Next up is, uh, here is, I haven't shown this off yet, but it's my Tonka toy dune buggy with uh, a 1974 Johnny Quest, but he's G.I. Joe because he's a clone, you know, <laughs> all that. Uh, uh, and so all the G.I. Joes are heroes in my world, but they're all clones of Benton Quest from Technology Found in Roswell. Anyway, and there's Bandit. I've got him painted up. And uh, I bought this set off of uh, Amazon. You can get, I think it comes like two at a, two in one kit of two French Bulldogs. And he, I repainted him. Uh, he was tan, and I've got another figure just like that. That's one of the, uh, I got this off of Third Son. It might have been off of Cotswold, but I think it was off of Third Son. The miniature dog tags work great as this. This is felt. Anyway, the reason I'm showing off that is because I finally, hey, hey, why don't you uh, park over there? Thank you. And it's, I got the Comico Johnny Quest. Number one and two, I believe, inside here. But I'd never pick these up during the day, and I wanted to. But I just, I, I was in college, limited budget, and, you know, Johnny Quest just, I was like, ugh. Back in the day when these were coming out, and I was working at a comic shop, I never picked them up, and I regretted it all these years because I haven't read through these adventures. Do they match the cartoons? Are they new? I'm going to find out on camera. So we'll, we'll find out together. I've never done, read it. Anyway, that's the uh, incoming for today. I uh, hope to see y'all again for some mail call pretty soon too. And I'll see y'all in the funny papers.